side plank raise. So in the intro video, you saw an example where I'm on my elbow and I'm on my knee, and then another example where I'm on the side of my foot and my hands. So those were two different variations of the side plank raise, and they're scaled. The first example would be the easier one, the later example would be the more um, progressive one or the harder one. So what we're doing in this position is we're trying to train our obliques and the side of our hip by doing a raise or almost like a crunch style motion. So at the bottom, I'm trying to facilitate a little bit of a stretch into my side. And then when I go to that top position, I'm trying to facilitate a, a, a contraction or kind of like a lateral flexion or a side bending to get those muscles on my side and into my hip to fire. So the simplest way of knowing where to start is by trying a couple different setups. I recommend starting at the easiest. If it feels too easy, you can't feel a contraction, you can't feel a stretch, try to change your positioning or progress through the variations to make it a little bit harder and then go from there. Choose the one that suits you best, meaning your strength, your skill set. What can you do with the best quality of motion and feel the muscle working? That's the motion that you should choose. So we'll start on our knees, right? So I have my knees bent, my knees or my kneecaps are almost in line with my wrist and then my hips are kind of bent. So my knees go out in front and my feet are stacked. So going into that side bridge position, I'm going to pick this bottom hip up and I'm trying to kind of sag into my, my left arm to where I'm rounding my side, if that makes sense. And then when I come out of this, I'm thinking about driving the, my side toward the ceiling to create a dome and get feel the contraction into my side and into my hip a little bit. So I'm trying to create another way to think about it is I'm trying to tr create a concave surface from my knee to my elbow. So how we would scale that is we could go to kind of a stagger stance and I can start with my hip on the ground to create a little bit of a stretch and I'm kind of dropping toward the ground and I can come out of that and go as high as I can. And then I can go to my hand, sink into that stretch, drive it as high as I can. I like to reach to the ceiling to kind of help facilitate that that arching of my side. And then the hardest one is gonna be with your feet stacked. So you're sinking your hips down to facilitate that stretch into your obliques and your lateral hip, driving that contraction into your side, reaching to try to get those the hips or your opposite side as high toward the ceiling as possible. And remember, there is no right or wrong. It's all relative to your strength and your ability to perform the motion with a good quality of control. So if you're losing your balance, if you're falling over, if it's painful in your shoulder, scale to the movement pattern that you can do where no compensations or no pain, excuse me, is present.